So often at Perth Motorplex you hear us talking about the Jacobs Ladder when it comes time for sprint car feature race time. But we're not talking about the hit 1990s thriller film and no, we're not talking about the 242 step concrete staircase in Kings Park. No, no, no. This is a Jacobs Ladder. The Jacobs Ladder's purpose is to keep the rear end of the car centralised while you're driving around. This is a Jacobs Ladder and if we had it pinned into the Winter's rear end of the car, it would sit something like that. Of course, without the Jacobs Ladder, the only thing holding the entire rear end into the car are these radius rods. So there's nothing to centralise the rear end and it can sway from left to right and cause a really, really unfriendly handling characteristic. That's what you really don't want. So we employ the use of this device which mounts in two positions on the chassis, a set of pins at the bottom and a set of pins at the top, and that allows the suspension to move up and down while, for the most part, keeping it somewhat centralised, very similar to the use of the panhard rod in the front of the car, with a key difference. Panhard rod's not entirely desirable because we've got a big drivetrain right in the middle that we can't really utilise for space. So we use a Jacobs ladder, it's neat and compact, sits to the right-hand side of the drivetrain and allows the up and down movement of the suspension while keeping the entire rear end located left to right. The reason why they break and why we knock them out of the car so often, they're designed to break. They have to break because when you hit the wall, something has to break. Neither of those things is a good idea when we're spending thousands of dollars on each of these components. So the cheapest component is the weakest component and that's these aluminium straps that sit right here on the Jacobs ladder or even the steel frame the triangular frame of the ladder itself. So next time, when you see a team frantically trying to change a Jacobs ladder in the back of the car, the driver's hit something and they're trying to get it so he can actually get around the racetrack without the rear end walking all over the place. Or even hoping that their driver can just handle the car without the ladder in it.